so much to go through here now to react to these latest developments. Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst. Judge, it's great to have you on this. Thank you, Cheryl. I think Senator Grassley said it best. I mean, this this could be jeopardizing the investigation. If you want other witnesses to come forward and testify, Feinstein's actions, whether or not they're illegal and proper, she still has created somewhat of a mess for her own well, committee. Uh, Senator Grassley knows the operation of the Senate Judiciary Committee and the nature of this investigation far better than I can. But he, he also has the subpoena power. So if Jared Kushner is scared away by a promise to keep secret his testimony, which is defied by not all testimony being kept secret, mm -hmm. all they have to do is serve him with a subpoena, which is a command, and then he'll have no choice but to testify. Mm -hmm. In terms of the allegation of unlawfulness, this is absolutely protected under the uh, Constitution called the Speech and Debate Clause, which protects a member of Congress from being prosecuted or sued or otherwise harmed because of information released in the official capacity. So, Diane, Senator Feinstein's done this before. She released a 6,000 page graphically detailed report about CIA uh, torture that took place during the George W. Bush administration. She released it during the Obama administration, and no one could harm a hair in her head. Well, you know, not for not here, we did get quite a window into how the committee is questioning how they're following through yes. on this, especially on the issue of Christopher Steele, the British spy. And one of the things that they're getting criticized for after these transcripts were released is his lawyer jumped in when he was asked about, uh, you know, do you, do you believe in this research? Do you support Christopher Steele? His lawyer jumped in and says, look, we're not going to talk anymore about this particular issue you're asking because somebody was killed. And the committee oh, let it go. Right. It's, it's almost inconceivable that there was not natural curiosity. Like, who, who died? died? Right, right. <laughs> Just so down. we really don't know who he's talking about. Is the reference to Seth Rich, the Democratic National Committee uh, staffer who was killed assassination style in, in D.C. and who it is believed was somehow facilitated the hacking of the DNC um, uh, emails? Is it a reference to a, a Russian source of Christopher Steele's? We don't know. But we did learn some very, very interesting things. When Christopher Steele discovered whatever he discovered, he went to his own former superiors in London and he went to the mm -hmm. FBI here and both of them found credibility in what he told them. Really quick, I got to ask you about something that the president brought up in his news conference in the 3 p.m. Eastern time hour. He was asked about the Mueller investigation by John Roberts from Fox News Channel. And, you know, it, and the question was, would you would you testify? Would you compel to testify? You know, the president, you know, Put it away. We'll, we'll get there. We're gonna, you know, he didn't really want to answer that question. But right. this idea of the president testifying to the Mueller commission, how real is All this? Right. So it's not, it's, it it's, it's not a commission. It's Bob Mueller and a bunch of prosecutors and a bunch of FBI agents mm -hmm. and assistants, and it's a grand jury. Mm -hmm. So Mueller would request an interview. The president could say no. Mueller could ask the grand jury for a subpoena. The president can't say no because mm -hmm. that's a command. He would have to show up and he would have to uh, testify. When Bill Clinton testified before a federal grand jury that was investigating his own behavior, it was a disaster for him and it mm -hmm. made matters worse. So the advice is when the government comes calling, criminal defense lawyers mm -hmm. like to say, Never talk to a guy that owns a grand jury because you're going to get you're going to rue the day you decided well, to submit yourself to their questions. Well, investigation is one word. A witch hunt was another phrase that the president used today. I was surprised to hear him so. say that. His lawyers have asked him to stop saying it. He did for about four months. He's back to using that phrase again. Well, President Trump will do what he wants. Yes, pretty he much. will. The judge. Thank you very much, Judge Pleasure. Andrew Napolitano. Pleasure, Cheryl. Good to be with All you. All right.